Dust Force is a simple platformer, which is all about your timing, finesse and move execution, rather than a story which is pretty much non-existent within the game. If you can save yourself a few seconds completing the level, then you will see the positive changes reflected within your rankings on the leaderboards. The first feature that really jumped out at me was how stunning this game was in terms of art style and graphical animation. As you move through the world, it feels as if someone's drawing the game for you as you play it. The artistic design is then complemented by the hauntingly beautiful music, which builds just as quickly in intricacy as the level structure itself. A couple of minutes into the game, I paused and went looking for the soundtrack download. It compares in quality to other indie games such as Frozen Synapse and Bastion. The controls are implemented in an extremely simple way, but I found that they were quite hard to learn. I'm not sure if it's just a personal issue, but I found myself pressing the wrong buttons occasionally just because of how simple they were. The controls are all analog input, meaning that currently there is no support for a gamepad such as an Xbox controller. This isn't negative however, as it allows for some really precise movement. There are only 7 buttons for movement, but the speed in which you apply these actions are where you can really falter, and these mistakes can be detrimental to your final score. This creates an addictive, almost clinical method of gameplay. Dust Force is currently sweeping up a storm at the moment within the gaming community, and for only £7 or $10 on Steam, it is a must buy.